Hello, everyone. Okay, so let's move on with the third voice. This is called the instrument voice. And for the instrument voice, <clears throat> take note that it's mm, called the instrument voice, right? There's got to be a reason why it's named instrument. So the one thing is that it's an instrument, right? It's going to be a thing slash an object. So an inanimate object or a, a, or a noun, right? We're going to look at it as a noun, but it's an inanimate noun, meaning it's a non-living noun. It's got to be some sort of thing, right? So an object is, yeah, a thing or an object by which the action is performed, aka the instrument, is a subject of the sentence. So we're looking at the thing or an object as a subject of the sentence. And remember, to make something the focus or the subject of the sentence, you have to make sure that you're marking it with the ang, um, the ang focus marker. And you're going to be using the ang focus marker in that sense, and I'll show you in the bottom. The other thing is that this thing or this object that's being talked about or transferred among people or used or use whatever thing is being used that you want to talk about is is our actual subject of the sentence and again you have to use the the absolutive case markers for that one and here in the sentence is the example so the first one i wrote is isulat ang lapis ni maria og sulat right so isulat ang lapis and notice how lapis is marked with the absolutive case right in this particle so ang is telling us that this is our instrument the lapis right and if you forgot what lapis was it means pencil um, while Maria here is marked with the um, ergative, your og set of case markers, the ergative case, in that sense, since Maria is a proper noun, we have to use the ni for it. And sulat, which is letter, is marked again with the og set of markers as our non-focus, because our focus right now is this pencil here, as ang is marking it in this absolutive case. But everything else is important, it's just not marked as important. And if I don't want to be technical with Maria, and if I don't want her to be a proper noun, I can switch it to just a general noun. But if I use it as a general noun, I have to change the marker into sa. So from sa babaya to ni Maria, right? And sa is also that non-focus marker. Um, and word order here, the syntax doesn't really matter as long as your marked objects and nouns are in place, right? So the second sentence, is isulat ni Marco ang bolpen ug nota. Notice again how ang bolpen is in the middle of the sentence. Normally, the sentence structure is verb, subject, object, right? Because our, ob our subject right now is that focus, the ang bolpen or ang lapis. But it's flexible word order if you have your marking in the correct order, right? Usually, again, usually the subject, the non-focus noun, sorry, the non-focus noun is normally going to be at the end while your um your subject right here our focus and the personal pronoun or whatever pronoun you want to put are in the beginning so ni marco again is a proper noun but if we want if i want to change it into a um, non-specific or a general and if i want to change it into just a regular personal pronoun i have to use it in the ergative case so instead of saying ni marco i have to use the third person singular the he she it so it's third person singular with nia he will use um, the pen to write the note. But in this case, it's the instrument voice. So the instrument is getting the attention, right? Ang bolpen, that's our voice. That's what we want to talk about. It's our focus because it's an instrument. Hopefully that makes sense. The last thing is the common affixes. So I didn't write an exhaustive list about the affixes that you can use for this instrument voice to express the instrument voice. But again, um, Verbs that mark gi or e are going to be generally going to be using the instrument voice. And I put in asterisk the e because e is a, um, it's a imperative. So e makes it in so that it's an imperative or a command uh, function. For example, isulat, meaning someone is telling you to write. Someone is commanding you to write. It's an imperative that you write. Right? And again, gi is also used. But remember, when you're going to use gi, you have to use the ergative case for it. Right? Gisulat niya. Gisulat ni Marco. So it makes sense that way. And that's it for this instrument video.